My friends, welcome back to the channel and on today's video we're going to be discussing something that I think is going to open up a huge can of worms within this industry and without further ado, let's have a sit down and discuss why in my opinion I think ceramic shampoos and ceramic detailers are a complete waste of time, waste of money and a waste of a step within the process. So we're going to go down a little bit down a story lane. This is a sit down and discussion video. Hopefully you're all sat down, you're relaxed, you've got some food, you've got some drink in front of you. I've got my prop in front of me, a very beautiful shiny purple car. And I've got my little mini props, which I'm going to be using as a example of products. Okay. So this video actually has come hot off the heels of a very um, poignant thing that is happening to us as we speak, as this video is speaking, my phone over there, my computer upstairs, it is, it is popping off with emails, questions, queries about one specific step and one specific product right, that right now for us is going extremely viral. So Foam Plus for us, we cannot get it out of the door fast enough. You've seen the pictures on social media and that is literally every three hours, it's just gone absolutely parabolic. Now, because of this, we have had um, a lot of people email us and they've asked us this very simple question in, you know, in different ways. Now, can Foam Plus go on top of X product? Y product kind of go on this, 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 and this, right? So a lot of people are confused. Now, let me tell you why people are confused. The reason people are sending me the emails that they're sending and are wanting, you know, an honest, true answer is because how I started the video. Are ceramic detailers and especially ceramic shampoos a waste of time, a waste of money, and a waste of a step within your process? Now, in my opinion, 100%. Now, I'm going to make this video. I'm filming this April 2024, and you will never go back through the YouTube channel and actually try and fact check, uh, fact check me on this because, again, on this one, I say and I kind of stick to my guns. We will never, ever, ever, ever manufacture a ceramic detailer and more certainly a ceramic shampoo. I'm going to speak to you the reasons why by showing the towels as the products and in what order they go. So if you've ever met me, you know that I'm probably one of the straightest people down that line that you will ever meet. I'm quite open about my opinions. I am opinionated, but my opinions are backed by fact and also backed by, you know, now I can say over a decade of experience, both in the prosumer, professional, you know, retail world. I've seen it all, I've tested it all. And, you know, um, even, it's now 13 years that I've tried all the products that they're out to try and I have tried it the wrong way and I've tried it the right way and I've had both sets of results come back over many years and I'm like, right, that is why what's happening. So as you know, this car is paint corrected. It is PPF and it is ceramic coated, right? That is the level of protection that's on this car. Now use this car as the example as for your car. Some people may just have a car that's non-polished, but it's got a very beautiful wax in it. That is your strongest layer of protection. Fantastic. Let's just use that example. Okay. Now, what are people, what a lot of people are doing, and this is why when I talk to you about our ceramic spray sealant, our foam plus and all the products within that category, I always use the word cross link. Okay. Very important because a lot of products within, you know, this category, what they do is they are not developed to work with each other. Yes, the company saying that they are, of course they're gonna say that, but the very easy telltale sign of whether they do and they don't is use a system for three to six, maybe even nine months and see how a dark color car is looking under the lights. And honestly, 99.9%, .9 you will see haze and this little mirage in the paint. Why is that? Because they don't work with each other. Obvious kind of answer. So cross-linking with the paint is one thing, but a lot of manufacturers are coming out with a ceramic car shampoo, a ceramic detailer, a ceramic tie dress, and Jesus wept, a ceramic air freshener, I've seen it all. Next is gonna be ceramic toilet paper. It rejects everything that you wipe, right? Imagine that, right? So the reason why I think it's a huge waste of time is because you are not, as the user of this kind of system, product, whatever it may be, 
you're not even given the chance to actually try and lay products together. You are just following the system of one, two, three, four, thinking that the people who have written that actually know what they're talking about. Some do, I'm gonna give the respect for that, of course, but the vast majority don't. Here's the example. You have bought a, you've washed the car. In fact, the car's dirty, right? You are now gonna wash it because you think it's the correct way. You're gonna wash the car with the ceramic shampoo, right? That is your first product layer being used, as you can clearly see. You rinse the car off and it's, it's gained something in the paint. It has left behind um, a water activator and a water delivered resin that now leaves a nice little film, some more hydrophobic than others. You are then going to do, right, I've dried the car, whether you do wet or dry, you are gonna then apply a, a ceramic detailer right which is boom right on top of this now the ceramic detailer which is the second uh, secondary layer is not getting the chemical opportunity to bond towards the base layer why is that because you've put a slick product and then trying to top it with a slick product so usually slickness you know within a product is designed to repel so these two one plus one is all of a sudden not equal in kind of two now, I'm generalizing here, guys. I've literally, in the last month, probably read three to 400 emails of this some kind of sort of example. So if you are watching it and you're bang on on this example, you know, fair enough. If you're like, well, actually, I've missed a few steps, but similar, obviously, take it on board. I'm just being very specifically kind of general in this. And then sometimes people will say, well, actually, Nick, you know what I'm going to do? I'm either going to put a ceramic spray sealant or a wax or whatever it may be, bang, like this. So that is three layers right now which are not working with each other, 100% guaranteed. You are overloading the clear coat and now the product is not knowing what it's doing. Now, the first thing that you're going to probably see is a hydrophobic product, maybe not being as hydrophobic because it's like, I haven't bonded, I don't know what I'm doing. Durability, again, you're going to be vastly reduced. And then on top of that, sometimes, depending on the chemistry of the product, you will see, I keep mentioning this example because I see it all the time, these clumps, imagine the square clump and it's all over the car because you literally, the clear coat is now starting to, it, it, it absorbs as much as it could and it's now beginning to reject all of the products. So that is on a normal car, okay? Now, if you take into context, because we do have a lot of clientele who are completely not wired right in the best way possible, I love you guys, right? You will then say, imagine these three layers, they stay kind of in situ and they're, they remain in play for now. Below this, you've got a ceramic coating, right? Which is, again, doing its job. In fact, I'm not even going to talk about PPF. It's a whole different material. But still, now I've added to myself a fourth layer underneath this. So the products are doing absolutely nothing. Now, on top of this, I get a lot of phone calls. Look, hello, I am using a ceramic, um, say, shampoo. Can I then top it with you know, your detail spray, and I'm like, as the drying aid, and I'm like, oh, well, yes, you can, the car's not going to explode. However, the detail spray is not getting a chance to actually put down the slickness that it is because there's some garbage water-activated resin underneath it that is not durable. Like, if you read the back of bottles, they're like, it can last two weeks, right? So it's not even giving you an advantage of being durable or anything like that because you're going to wash it off within a, a wash or two. And then on top of that, the detail spray is just sitting on top of it and it's like, well, I can't get the chance to cross-link with an actual strong product or clear coat directly if the car is just like a normal car. And all of a sudden, you're starting to get this consequence of events that the products aren't working. Now, the reason why I've made a very bold claim and I said we will never, ever, ever make ceramic wash and a ceramic uh, detailer um, is because I, I will give you this answer. Every single time that you wash your car with some of our system, all of the system, really doesn't matter. As soon as the car shampoo touches the paint and then gets rinsed off, what you are left with gives you the complete gamma of, you know, um, options 
of what the hell do you want to do at the next stage? Do you want to go and put a paste wax on? Yes. Do you want to do a drying edge step? Yes. Foam plus? Yes. All these type of things. So now you don't have to worry about a, a product rejecting a product. Now, a lot of men ask this question. I mean, again, it's mainly a male kind of derived industry, a few women. So I make examples in whatever sex that I'm talking to, male or female. Now, if it's a man, I'm going to say a lot of kind of examples that people, you know, men, you know, understand better. So my n number one example is if you look behind me, you know, that wall, that is plasterboard, or if it was breeze block, imagine, right? One of the two, it's completely naked, imagine, it's not white. Would you, here's the question, would you put white gloss paint first on dry plasterboard, then paint it um, after it dries, then paint it with a primer, and then paint it again with, say, like a matte emulsion? Answer me that question, right? If you are saying yes, then you don't know what you're doing, right? <laughs> But honestly, you wouldn't do that, right? And that's the same thing, with, like I use the female example with makeup, like you don't put heavy, I'm not even gonna use the makeup names because I don't know, but you know, like brushes and foundation and then blusher again, like you don't because you're gonna end up looking like a clown. So with this, I thought I'd make a video off the heat. As you can see, I'm speaking passionately, like literally I've just got off an, off, off an email of a guy that I wrote him a humongous spiel. Now he mentioned to me a product and a brand, just for fairness reasons. I'm not gonna talk about it, but it's you know the brand name itself. It's a huge brand, right? International, but the best out in the US. And he said, Look, Nick, I'm gonna wash my car with a certain shampoo that even on the label says it's a conditioner, it leaves something behind. Um, and then I'm going to um dry it with I think it was like some ceramic spray wax and then kind of put one plus on I'm like look let's call him John for argument's sake you know just to keep the name quite generic I said John you can't do that you can but nothing is going to work in tandem okay and then on top of this you can like literally you can start putting more examples you can start putting on top of what was my last product ceramic detail all right when you're drying it with a spray wax then you're probably like, oh, the water's run a little bit here. So I, I don't want to use a spray wax because it's a bit difficult to work with. I'm just going to whip around it with a quick detailer. One, two, three, four, five. I've got five layers of product that doesn't know what it's doing. So I'm hot off the heels of a very um, busy month for us in shipping, you know, a very specific product, you know, that actually chemically bonds onto the car. Now, that said product cannot bond to the arm like this if there is something in fact that's another you know what i should start an analogy show paint whatever garbage you've got underneath and then imagine foam plus because i'm talking about it it's not it's bonding to the towel rather than my skin which is the paint so i just wanted to kind of tell people this because a lot of people unfortunately they buy into whatever, whether it be marketing gimmicks or that they believe somebody actually knows what they're talking about and they don't. Now, nobody knows everything. Let's just put that on the table. But some people know more than others. And the last thing I want, you know, as a, a passionate business owner, I'm more of an enthusiast than I am a business owner. Hence why I'm filming these stupid videos sat in front, you know, of a car, not actually doing anything. I'm not actually showing you how to use a product or anything like that. I've got no hard and half naked woman in heels on the bonnet because it, that is not required. If you watch this video, and however many of you watch it, 500, 1,000 people, those 1,000 people, let's say, have changed your life in the way of, you now know that maybe you don't put a base below another product because it's simply not gonna stick. And my leaving point to you as well is, like I keep saying, I want to give you guys the complete spectrum of how you want to wash your car, especially at the last, say, 25%, okay? Because that's where you do all the sexy things, you know, shiny things, hydrophobic things. Um, when you wash the car, whatever base you've got, for example, let's use our system as an example. You've got the ceramic spray sealant, right? You've washed the car, you've rinsed it, and you're like, right, it's still being hydrophobic and I can see the protection is still there. So the usual, my, my answer is, you know, blow the car dry, and use a detail spray with the drying air towels 
as the drying head, okay? You're feeding that layer all the time up until the whole thing dies because our detail spray has got no resins. It's got no ceramics, no waxes. All it is is a gloss enhancer. If you were to pour water on it, you will see that little bit of hydrophobics, but the hydrophobics itself lasts you up until the next wash, like literally a week, right? As soon as you hit it with any mild cleaner and above, it's dead, which leaves your base protection again. But you could do it that way, or you could dry the coat organically and put wax on or a, a recoat of, you know, the ceramic spray sealant because you're getting, you know, a double layer and stuff like that. All these work together. Imagine you've got a ceramic spray sealant from us, then you're washing it with a ceramic car shampoo. Then you're using, say, the drying aid or the wax or whatever, you know, your step in the protection process is. <sighs> Guys, like, please don't do that. It's, it's completely ridiculous. Now, again, as a business owner, I should be saying, come on, guys, you mix whatever the hell you want. In fact, you can put a bit of glass cleaner in there as well because, again, more product usage, more orders, right? I'd rather you use less product the right way. Your car looks shinier, more, um, I keep using the word clarity. There, there's one thing having a shiny car, but there's a clear car, you know, that depth and clarity in the paint. If you do it right, it will forever look, you know, as, as long as you top it up with the correct intervals, it will forever look absolutely amazing. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Again, I'm really passionate about the subject because I hate people getting fed and I do not want to get demonetized, so I'm not going to use the bad words, but I don't, I hate people getting fed poo through the internet or through some marketing thing and the industry is growing so fast, okay? Which means there's new new consumers coming into it. There's, of course, people wanted to take, you know, a percent of the pie and stuff like that. And they all want to start their own car care companies because they may look, I mean, I might be even in this circle now, they might look at a certain circle of people and say, you know what? I want a piece of that. I want a piece of that. And they go in and they have no chemical knowledge Certainly no passion, because that could just be seen by um, customer comments and reviews and all that type of stuff. But for me, as I keep saying, you know, I, I want to be honest with you guys. I'm sure there's going to be some people down in the comments, some idiots going, well, Nick, you know, I think you're wrong because X brand has said you need to put 57 coats of ceramic shampoo on to maintain the coating for their... Um, for their authenticity of the coating and for their their warranty. I'm, I'll, I'll argue with you all day long because this car right here, apart from the odd once every three months drying aid, on, on purpose this is done, of course. I have bleach washed this car on purpose to try and kill stuff on it, right? It's not coming off. So whoever's telling you you need a ceramic shampoo to maintain their coating, the coating's not good enough, right? So... I leave that one there. And you need to also thank my fantastic props, the wax and sealant towels. They have come out in force today to give you the, um, the demonstration. And of course, our very lovely uh, painter sample, Viola Metallic 911, which I'm in love with every single day. And you guys, thank you so much for watching the videos. You, you guys deserve the most props, the most thanks, you watch the videos, you buy our products. By the way, to every single person in the last three, three and a half weeks who has literally plowed through Foam Plus in the orders, thank you so much. Foam Plus right now, tail end of March and um, into April, um, it is about 10x above everything else on the website in terms of unit sales. So I love you so much, guys. Thank you. Please let me know what you thought you know, my discussion video is all about. I know I'm speaking sense. If you are confused and want some more info, please comment down below. Let's get a discussion going. I'm the one, you know, 100% who replies to the comments. So I know a thing or two about, you know, car care products. <laughs> um, and also the good thing about you commenting below, yes, I'm going to answer you. But then somebody else, say Paul up the road, might be like, you know what? I'm a bit scared of asking the question in case I get hammered, which is another bad thing about the industry. Um, but you'll never get hammered on our channel, but he may read somebody else's question. He may read one of uh, my replies and go, actually, you know what? It makes sense. So please comment if you've got any more questions. If you want to open up more cans of worms, open them up in the comments. I'm ready for it. Um, cool, guys. 
Thank you so much. Hope you find it helpful. I will um, see you as always soon um, in another video very shortly.